With each and every failure we see from Disney, whether it's on Disney Plus, at the box office, or one of the variety of PR disasters they've had as a result of getting too ideological, pushing woke propaganda in nearly all of their content, it seems like CEO Bob Iger is always very quick to try to blame someone else. And usually, that person ends up being former CEO Bob Chapek, the guy that he basically gave his old job to, that he came back and said, you know what, I just have to fix everything. I'm going to save Disney. Unfortunately, it's been anything but that. It was just a few months ago when he once again said that Disney has to quiet the noise in the culture war, that they can't be as political of a company. They really need to stay quiet on those things because they're perceived as an overtly political company. This comes with the backlash to everything that happened with CEO Bob Chapek when Disney decided to go to war with the state of Florida that they have now ended up losing. They've lost in court. DeSantis in Florida destroyed them even though the mainstream media was cheering Disney on. This is the man who got on his knees for the LGBTQ community and said, I'm so sorry, and decided to oppose the parental rights and education bill here in the state of Florida. Well, wouldn't you know it, Bob Iger once again is being found out to be an absolute complete piece of shit. The dude who looked back and blamed Bob Chapek for all of these failures, for Disney getting too political. Well, it looks like we've got a new video showing that Bob Iger was cheering it along the entire fucking time. Christopher Rufo, exclusive in January of 2021. Then Disney chairman Bob Iger. Like we've said the entire time, Bob Iger was still at this company, still the chairman of this company. He was right there when all these decisions were being made, even though he tries to distance himself from them now. Look at this. Then Disney chairman Bob Iger told employees he was committing to the company to take a stand on politics because of January 6th then praised himself for making Black Panther, which he said was an example of diversity and inclusion. Now, I've not seen this before. This is a, at this point, three-year-old video, but it really goes to show what Disney views as acceptable for their company. They said, this isn't getting political. We're simply going to make a comment on January 6th. That's not political. There's nothing wrong with that. We have to call out evil when we see it. This is the way Bob Iger views everything, and that's why Disney will not change as long as this piece of shit is still there. Listen to this. Well, I, I mean, Bob and Bob has talked about this uh, eloquently um, since he's become CEO. I'll, I'll say a couple of things about it. You know, we've tended to uh, shy away from politics. Uh, and in doing so, I think we've shied away from talking about issues that aren't political at all, like the issues that we're talking about today. Um, because we believe in doing so, maybe it, look like, it looks like we're taking a stand. Well, in that reality, we should be taking a stand. I take, by the way, I, t- I take responsibility for this. I was CEO for 15 years. And so I, you know, I, I, I manage the, the company's public facing um, processes and, and um, you know, how we were portraying ourselves. And I think that we have to be less cautious, as Bob, I think, was just alluding to, about such things and not be concerned, like just commenting about what happened in Washington last week. That's not political on our part at all. All right, so just to be clear, Bob Iger thinks that something, you just have to take a stand on something. It's not political. You don't think that discussing January 6th was nothing inherently political about that as a company? Like putting, feeling the need as a entertainment company to put out a message or put out a statement about January 6th, you think that's actually like necessary? You really think that that's not going to divide your fan base or anything like that? It's very interesting. That's why when these people say, get away from political stances, blah, 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 they don't really fucking mean it. They think it's their duty to fucking change the world and make it look like the lens they want it to be. That's why when you see the don't say gay, really the parental rights and education bill, well, that's a stand that Disney has to take, right? When you talk about all these things, that's how Bob Iger views all of this shit. We we know that what we saw was fundamentally wrong and that it was rooted in hatred and disrespect and contempt and intolerance. And we should feel free as a company to comment about that without retribution. And another thing I want to say that I've learned um, these last maybe nine to 12 months is, you know, I, I'm very proud of a lot of the work we've done in terms of diversity and inclusion on screen. When we, when we did a, a Coco, for instance, at Pixar, a great example of that, or Tiana, or of course, Black Panther is one of the great examples of that. I, I, I allowed those things to make me feel a bit 
complacent in a sense. It's not that I, I wanted to be that way, but I thought, wow, we did Black Panther. How great are we? And it caused me to not focus as much as I should have on the culture of the company and the environment and, and, and in the voices that were telling those stories as opposed to just how they were being portrayed on the screen. So, do you understand what he's saying? So keep in mind, this is January of 2021, right after January 6th. So the reason he's saying all this, it allowed us to be complacent. It's out in the aftermath of the George Floyd riots, right? The summer of love. That's what he's talking about. We haven't done enough. We really need to do more as a company to talk about race and equity and inclusion and blah, 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 all this shit. This is Bob Iger. The dude who made it seem like the reason that Disney got into all this virtue signaling bullshit, the guy who passed the buck to Bob Chapek. In reality, it's always been Bob Iger who's pushing a lot of this shit. Now, Chapek certainly isn't innocent. Chapek took the job. He's gone along with it the entire time. He bent the knee to the LGBTQ mafia. He, was, he played a major part in this. But Bob Iger has always been pushing for this. And until he's fucking gone... Do you think that this company is going to change? Absolutely not. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.